All right, fellow sadomasochists, uh, today we're here to talk about uh, one of the newer releases for Scorn, The Mammoth. Uh, this one was uh, particularly difficult to uh, assemble and paint uh, for me. Uh, one of the earlier, uh, uh, one of the newer attempts at actually painting something in multiple pieces is this one absolutely required. Definitely had to uh, magnetize the uh, tusks here, uh, seeing that they would be constantly getting in the way of everything in front of it. True to scorn fashion, they have to make everything difficult for all the other models on the table. Uh, but talking about their stats, they were ranked, it is ranked as one of the better uh, gargantuans. Uh, it is a speed four, uh, strength 15, mat six, rat three, uh, defense eight, armor 20, uh, command range of six. Uh, the Siege Battery Gun has a surprise, surprise, rate of fire of 3 with a range 10, 4-inch uh, AOE. POW 15s, uh, these are really, really nasty. Uh, this is a really particularly gross gun whenever you're running it with something like an uh, Epic Hexorus list and you're able to get Black Spot out there with a bunch of Venator Slingers and some Cataphract Incendiaries. Uh, but still in melee, he is not going to be anything to be trifled with, uh, as his tusks are going to be a power and strength of 18, and his war gauntlets are a power and strength of 19. Uh, of course, with the beast handlers behind him, you get him up to a nice 21 on those gauntlets and a 20 on those tusks. Uh, he is a 5 fury uh, with a threshold of 9. His animus is called uh, Counter Blast. Uh, when an enemy models ends its movement in this model's command range, this model can make one normal melee or ranged attack targeting that model. Then Counter Blast expires. And Counter Blast lasts uh, for one round. Uh, this is going to be a particularly you know, nice, nice uh, one to run, uh, especially whenever we've got our new Mortithurges out there. Uh, so it just so it gives you an opportunity to not drop just four on your turn, but also drop a fifth one on your opponent's turn. And that's always really nice. Um, it does have assault, uh, as well as a bulldoze, uh, which is going to be really great for clearing some stuff out of there. And of course, you put them on a P. Morgul list with some uh, Titan Gladiator, and you are going to get that nice 11-inch uh, trample there. It does also have a critical pitch, so on a critical hit, instead of rolling damage normally, you can choose to have this model uh, throw the model hit. Uh, so that's always nice as well, so you don't have to automatically go through the strength check. If you just hit with both, you can just throw the model completely out of the way. Always enjoy those shenanigans. Uh, definitely going to be looking forward to running this uh, with a few different casters. Uh, there's a lot of different tricks I would like to try, both melee and ranged. Uh, so this week we'll be seeing Rasheth and seeing how much damage we can do on that feet turn. Alrighty, have a great